Hi everyone, my name is Natalie. Today I wanted to do our Invisible Cities announcement for March. So Invisible Cities is a reading project that I'm doing with a group of people where we encourage you to read all around the world for cultural exploration. Uh, so the purpose behind the project was to encourage more reading of translated literature, but some countries don't have any, any books in translation and sometimes you don't have access to them. So the general gist is just cultural exploration of the countries we select each month. And you can do that by reading books, but you could also watch movies, listen to music, cook food is something that a lot of uh, the people on Discord have been doing that I've been really enjoying seeing what they've been making. Um, but there's just so many ways you can participate if you are interested. I will link the original announcement for Invisible Cities in the description below in case you're new to the project and want to learn more. Uh, also feel free to ask if there's anything that is unclear to you. So like I said, the group of hosts select two countries per month that we read books from uh, and focus our cultural exploration of for that month. And so we always announce those countries two months in advance and so today I'm here for the March countries, which are Norway and Dominican Republic. So like I usually do with these announcements, I will share with you some of the books that I have my eye on potentially reading for each country. One of my goals for Invisible Cities next year is to choose one country to focus on each month. And so I haven't decided on which country I will be focusing on in March yet. So I've thought of potential books for both of them and then uh, I thought that I could select further, further down the road which one of them I will be focusing on. Um, but yeah, that was all of the information bits out of the way. So with Norway, first of all, I wanted to mention two recommendations that I have as well. So um, in terms of books. So first of all, we have The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Am by Chesty Anastasis Gunsvold. This is quite a popular book on booktube, I think. So m many of you have probably heard of it already. It is a fairly short book about an elderly woman who is afraid of dying because she's afraid of being forgotten, uh, being lost without having any important connections that will remember her. And it's a very introspective novel filled with reflections on life and the purpose of life um, and meaningful connections and living a meaningful life as well. There's just so much that I absolutely loved about this book, but the elderly woman's a protagonist in this book is just so... She's not necessarily likable, but she's so authentic to me. I really loved this book uh, and would definitely recommend it if you haven't got into it yet. The other one I wanted to mention is uh, an author more than a particular book. So that is Sigurd Unset, uh, who is a classic Norwegian author. The only book of her that I have read is a short story collection and it doesn't seem to be available in English translation, this particular collection. But she wrote her short stories, all of them dealt with female experiences, um, often in terms of being neglected or being controlled and restrained in different ways by their society, by the very the, the particular social context they were living in. And it seems like a lot of these topics and themes come up in her other fiction as well, so that might be something worth checking out. Let's move on to the potential books I could read for Norway. So first of all, I would really love to read something more by Chesty Anastas Gumsvold. Like I mentioned, The Faster I Walk, The Smaller I Am. I have read both in the Swedish translation and in the Norwegian original. Uh, I would really like to read either Monster Human, which is an autobiographical novel that seems to be uh, about the protagonist's interest in writing and the struggles that comes with that as well as uh, mental illness uh, issues and uh, struggles. And the other book by Chesty Anastas Kunskvold that I'm interested in is The Child uh, that uh, came out in the the English translation last year, I think. Uh, I would be reading it in the Swedish translation though. And uh, this one is about motherhood and again I think it touches on mental illness and uh, health and well-being in connection with being a mother. 
Both sounds really interesting to me, uh, so there are definitely options. And then we have Maya Lunde's The History of Bees, which is the first book in a quartet of books all about um, the environment in different ways. So I know that the history of bees is centered around, at least part of it, is centered around a biologist who deals with bees. Uh, That's part of his work. Uh, and I think this particular aspect of the book is set in the 19th century. Uh, but I'm, I'm not entirely sure if the entire book is historical fiction or if it has different timelines. Uh, but either way, I've been meaning to, to read this one for a long time, so that is definitely a possibility. And then the last one I have is the, uh, let's see, The Unquiet by Lynn Ullmann, who is the daughter of Ingvar Bergman. Um, and this one again is supposed to be uh, quite autobiographical, uh, quite an autobiographical piece. I'm not entirely sure that the boundaries between fiction and nonfiction is in this one, but it seems to be often talked of as an autobiography in, in Sweden. Uh, but it's supposed to uh, examine a daughter-father relationship, which, which already sounds very interesting to me, no matter where the borders between the fiction and non-fiction is. Uh, so that is definitely an another possibility and one I have on my shelves as well. For the Dominican Republic, I have two options mainly, but uh, two books by one author and then uh, another book as well. So we have two books by uh, Rita Indiana, uh, who sounds like such an interesting author. Uh, Made in Saturn is one of her books that was uh, translated by Sidney Hutchinson, and uh, it came out, I think, in 2020 in the English translation. It says, this is the story of the children of the revolution, of many revolutions. This is life on an island, in fact, on two Caribbean islands, Cuba and the Dominican Republic. A vivid evocation of contemporary life on these particular islands, the novel's passion and contradictory characters will strike a chord with readers everywhere, as will the betrayal of justice abandoned and the pursuit of riches. A Tentacle is the other book by this author that I was really interested in. And it says, plucked from her life on the streets of post-apocalyptic Santo Domingo, young, young maid Asilde Figu Figueroa finds herself at the heart of a voodoo prophecy. Only she can travel back in time and save the ocean and humanity from disaster. Sounds fantastic, and particularly with the, the environmental commentary in fiction is something I'm definitely interested in. Um, and both of them I have uh, available through my library, so that is definitely options. And then we have a book that I hadn't heard anything about, but it sounds so interesting. It's called Wicked Weeds by Pedro Cabilla. This is an author that was born in... Uh, let's see, born in Puerto Rico, but lives in Dominican in Dominican Republic. Um, and again, again, it touches on the climate, as I've mentioned. So it says, set at the contact zones between Haiti and the Dominican Republic, this is a polyph polyphonic polyphonic novel, an intense and sometimes funny pharmacopoeia of lost love of love lost and humanity regained a most original combination of caribbean noir and science fiction addressing issues of global relevance including novel takes on ecological apocalyptic imbalance bound to make an impact it's sort of a sci-fi type book with the zombies and environmental commentary all of that just sounds like such an interesting combination so that is another book that i'm looking at potentially picking up for the dominican republic so those are all of the books and all the things i wanted to mention in this video i would love to know if you have anything that you are thinking of potentially reading for norway or dominican republic in march um, please share in the comments if you have any recommendations for me uh, or if you ha as I said, if you have any questions about Invisible Cities, feel free to, to reach out either in the comments or, our, or on our Discord that is also linked in the description below. That was all I wanted to say. I hope you're doing fantastic and I will talk to you soon. Bye!